My name is Daniel Johnson. I'm from Islamic Diversity Centre in Newcastle. I'm a Muslim and I'm horrified to see Islamophobia in particular, as well as other kinds of racism, rising in recent years. Mm. One uh, cause of that is uh, foolish people like Anjum Chowdhury and his uh, cronies, and another is people like Tommy Robinson and his cronies. Do the panel think it would be a good idea to take Tommy Robinson and Anjum Chowdhury and put them on some kind of island and bomb it with anthrax? <laughs> OK, that's quite strongly put, but I think I, I get the idea. So, the English Defence League has been organising protests around the country in recent weeks. The first was here in the North East. Police estimated that around 1,500 took part. Protesters were heard shouting, Ho Streets, Our Streets. Uh, Tommy Robinson, leader of the EDL. You can assert until you're blue in the face that these are peaceful protests, but your supporters were heard shouting racist abuse. How do you explain so, that? What, what racist abuse? You know, we've, I can't, I can't well, we've just, say it we've just been talking now about at this time on television. We've been talking about racism. I'm from Luton Town. You're talking about racism, OK? There, there is no racial tensions in the town I come from. When David Cameron says multiculturalism has, fa has failed, Sikhism, Hinduism, Jews, they haven't failed to integrate into society. Islam has failed. When we talk against an ideology, if I'm against Scientology, are you going to call me a racist? I, I oppose the Islamist ideology. That does not make us racist. You can't talk about what we said that was racist because there was nothing said that was racist at the demonstration. But people... we've, read, we've read the quotes in the press. Yeah, in the press. When you talk about the press, you just said 1,500 people were there. There were 7,000 people there. So you've got a biased press that are mis misreported. So more people chanting. More people chanting. More people at a demonstration. But what is the press's agenda to play that down? And then when we talk about Islamophobia, there is Islamophobia, of course there is. There is Islamophobia because our police force actually were too scared to tackle grooming and rape of our youth because of fear of being called a racist. That's Islamophobia. Not the Islamophobia. A phobia is an irrational fear, OK? It's quite rational to fear female genital mutation of 2,000 British Muslim girls every year, terrorism, like happened to Lee Rigby. That, like, two days ago, six Muslims who were, sent were sentenced to 19, 20 years each because they were planning to blow up the English Defence League. Due to, the, due to the blasphemy law within the Quran. OK, there's a link to all these things. The same with, same with the Muslim grooming gangs. As a common denom den denominator, you have to look for what the issue is, what links them all. They're all Muslim. I, I get confused when you say Islam, and then you say Islamist, and then you say Muslim. Yep. Because they're different things. They are. I, I, I'm from Luton Town. I'm going to talk to... Put, put, yeah, I'm from Luton Town. I know, I know so many Muslims, yeah, and I'm, I'm sitting here. If you take these people's careers away and their money away, they won't be sitting there. I'm a volunteer, OK? There's nothing stronger than the heart of a volunteer. What has happened to me through having this opinion and, and speaking out the way I do, it's destroyed my life, it's destroyed my wife's life, it's destroyed my mother's life. I live with constant death threats. I've got some of them here if you want to read when we talk about a two-tier policing system. I have to wear a bulletproof vest. I've got people wanting to murder me and massacre me. Well, then me. stop being a racist and a bigot. Racist. Can you, can you, can you, can you, Can you, can you please, please explain one thing no, I've listen, ever said? I am a British please citizen. Explain I what? was born in this country yes. and I do not spout off rubbish like you please do. Okay? No, what am I saying that's rubbish? I haven't got death threats. Do you know why? It's because I'm a nice person. P please explain. I if, you talk about, if you talk against Islam, you'll have death threats. Right? Please explain. Please explain what I've said that's racist. Please explain. You, what you've done is. No, please explain you, what I've said that's racist. I'll tell please, you no, what's no, racist. No, she's called it's me a racist. Because, okay, well, I'll, please I'll, explain. I'll, I'll, please I'll, explain. Grant, you will pick it up. So you're not going to explain. What you've done is you've taken a community with. What, hundreds of thousands of members? people. And you've picked like a hundred, yeah. like a tiny minority, and you've said they're all like that. I think that's the slightly racist part. You're What's racist? All Muslims. What, what race you is are Islam? Against what race? All no, I'm not against all Muslims. Yes, you I got are. married last year. You, I had four Muslims at my wedding. I had four Muslims at my wedding. Admit your true colours. Yeah. 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 Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. You, you think you think that just okay. because you just because you want to call us racist or but extremists or far right, what, what have I said that's racist? I heard you on radio the other day saying that you are a peaceful movement, yeah. okay, and you are not against violence. You still haven't explained uh, what have I said you, that was have racist. Have you actually looked at your own personal You still records? haven't explained what have I said you, about racism. You've racist. actually been convicted you haven't explained of thuggery what I've said and you're that a was football racist. hooligan. You, what, you so how can you come on to how can you come on to Radio Four and say that you are a peaceful movement?
Kent. You stood at, at, at the Newcastle. I've just said it. You've just cited loads of loads of things relating to Islam and, and talking about Islam. So there's not a problem in this country. The there's not a problem in this country. Muslim people killed by white people. There's not a problem in this country. You know, you there's not a problem battle. in this country. Why are you focusing on certain incidents? No, what you're doing is rather than listening to the point, you just want to shout racist, which is what's happening in this country for 15, 20 years. Because you are. No, what have I said? What have I said? That's racist. Because you are. Tommy, Tommy, you're so weak. Tommy, you've got nothing to say. You don't like that, do you? Tommy, let a car speak. What have I said? That's racist. You are a racist. What have I said? That's racist. You're a racist. What have I said? Akala. And you do not represent what the views of the racist, people darling? in this country at all. <coughs> all right, sorry. All. Nothing. Akala. You've got, you've, got no, you've got no substance to your argument. You're not, oh, even, you you're have. not even backing up. You've got, I okay. have, yeah. You've got less substance. I have. What happened to Lee Rigby? What happened on 7 7? All the Muslim grooming gangs. Everything let I say is else, factual. Let someone else speak okay. for a minute, please, and, and Tommy. Of course, Mr. Robinson, there are no paedophiles who are white, and yeah. white people have never bombed anyone. 87% of grooming second? cases are Muslim, yet 5% of the country is Muslim. You spoke, you spoke, yeah. you spoke. Yeah. Let me speak. Now, this is exactly the issue, is what I'm saying, right? As much as I agree with what's being said about this man and his, his organization, right? Can you back up? We focus, we focus on fringe bigots rather than dealing with the real central issue that we have a political system i can't count how many times i've read the daily mail or some other paper not that i read these rags and it says pakistani man does blah when jimmy savile is convicted or something comes out about him is his ethnicity or his religious beliefs put forward as the primary reason for him committing an offense no but we can't <laughs> of this kind of bigotry, right, and then, and then act not, shocked when it comes out. No, 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 no one's prepared one second, to explain what I said is bigotry. One We're second, racist. one second. For those who don't know, Baghdad was the intellectual cultural centre of mathematics and art and science about a thousand years ago for quite a long time. No one blames Islam for that. So negative people who happen to be Muslim, yes, of course, it's your religion that causes it. But if you pioneer mathematics and science and introduce algebra into Europe and the guitar and coffees and lemons, that's not because you're Muslim. Well, the people. Okay. We're gonna, I'm going to get the get an opposing view from from Dippu here for a bit. Dippu, you're a Newcastle councillor. You organised the counter protest. Yeah, um, Tommy, I've heard of um, double vision. I have never heard of triple vision before. There wasn't 7,000. There was about 1,500 ideal thugs in Newcastle on the 25th of May. So okay, now you've you've had you've you've had you've had no no you had 1,500. You've had you've had your say. You've you've had your say. You've had your say. We had a peaceful we had a peaceful protest, unlike you drunks. EDL drunks on the day we did. We had a peaceful protest. We had 1,000. Tommy, uh, you've said it, but we had we, we had a thousand don't like local people, people you. where you had to get people, people shipped in. You had to get people shipped in from other places of the country, places of, of, from the country to Newcastle demo and to have a party. But we had local people celebrating diversity, diversity, diversity which we thrive on. I celebrate uh, diversity. Sorry, <laughs> I celebrate. If you see, you celebrate diversity. You're the biggest fascist in this country. I'm not fascist. You are. You're, I'm not you're the biggest you You're an Islamophobe. What, what, you're an Islamophobe Islam and you hate Muslims. I don't hate Muslims. And you know what? I don't hate Muslims. Your EDL, your EDL organisation is just a platform for your ego. That's basically so, it. Can you it's tell me? Can you tell me? Ego. Yes. Ego. When you say ego, do you think I enjoy being leader of English Defence League? You, you talk do about threats. Do you think I enjoy being leader of English Defence League? Tommy, you talk about threats. You're right, You wrote a letter to the City Council against me saying I've got extremist links. That's I didn't a fact. write a letter. No, yeah. I didn't. You said no, that. You, you wrote no, to Northumbria Police I've got extremist links. No, I didn't. Just, just show me. I've got the letter. I'm writing letter on top of that. Tommy, I didn't write a letter. Tommy, calm. <laughs> on top of that, <laughs> on, on top of that, your EDL folks have threatened me against my life and my family, really? against me, against on your Twitter, on your Facebook. So have you condemned them? Right. Have you condemned them, Tommy? Okay, let's, let's take a, a bit of no, this gentleman here, I'm please. I'm going to chop up your kids. Thank you very much. Um, I, th I, think, I think regardless of Mr Robinson's views, I'm sure everyone in this audience can agree that we're delighted he took the opportunity to come today and show how unrepresentative and out of touch he is. Yes. I'm unrepresentative and out of touch for the, for the audience that are here, but working class people back home will be sitting <laughs> watching this and when you all sit up, when you sit there, when you sit there, you're from Newcastle, when you sit there, and you're not, when you sit there... But if you're a representative, why don't you stand? Why aren't you a political party? Why don't you get elected? Because, in it, because people, who oppose, democracy. people who oppose extremist Islam 
Vote for Labour, vote for Lib Dems, vote for Conservative, vote for UKIP, vote for BNP. It's a mixture of people. If you all want to pretend, what the problem is, you're all going to pretend there's not an issue in this country. There's a serious issue. Islam is not integrating, it's not assimilating. Wahhabi, Salafi sects of Islam, okay, they're spreading like a wildfire. What are you doing to combat them? What are you doing to combat them, Hang on, we condemned. Um, condemned is not good enough for me. We condemned, we spoke against But when we come on the street, let me finish, let me just say, ask the question. We have condemned, we've been actively working in Newcastle and the North East. And we've got IDC behind us to do a fantastic job, actively working with different communities. What have you done to work with different communities? We are working uh, we and work condemning, community we are the working community, and condemning uh, we, we, extremism, we, we, if it's EDL or if it's the fascist or right-wing Muslim okay. groups, we are, we are condemning what them. What am I saying? What have you okay. done what to am I saying? You two, you two talk after us, I'm going to go to this lady here. Um, I should say, I think if you look at the country as a whole, because we're talking about whether the country is getting more racist, I don't think it is, but if you look at the cases where people are playing a role in the community, uh, they're getting involved in society, then the vast majority of people don't care what race people are. If people are integrating and they're working together, then they cooperate. And is having protests in either direction helping anybody to promote that goal? Well, yes, because when, you, when you're angry... Yeah. So we're going to sort of widen this out now to the, the broader issue that uh, uh, Carla touched on. Where's Isabella? What did you want to um, say, Isabella? I think that people are becoming racist because of their own social, um, um, their own social and economic problems. So they're just pointed, you know, as you were saying earlier, they're just uh, choosing someone to blame. I'm half Polish, and I think, and Chester, it's lovely. pardon. Chester, oh, yes, um, and it's. Um, I think it's um, offensive when people go on about um, Eastern Europeans are taking our jobs and you might not think that is racist um, because you, you can't really, you might not be able to tell I'm Polish but um, it's, in, immigration has had a major impact and I think we need to look at the broader issues um, as to why people <coughs> are becoming racist. So, so, so how do we tackle these broader issues and yes, this is very key. I think that, personally, um, racism is becoming, it's more of a matter of upbringing. Um, just like the gentleman over there, if everyone was going to have the same frame of mind as you, then the whole country was going to be racist. Um, people bring up the children saying that when people move into this country from different countries, they steal our jobs, they steal our money. Well, they don't, don't because they're trying to make I'm the country more diverse. Can I speak? So I'm then, I'm not it's not. I'm not against immigration. We're talking about the wider issues now. Everyone about the wider still, issues, still yet to tell me what, why I'm extremist no, 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 and why no, no, I'm against. No, 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 I'm just why I'm racist. Please tell me what I've said. That, please. Okay. This is the problem. You just anyone with okay. a different opinion. I see, I'm racist. saying that it's an upbringing. It's a no, matter of upbringing. I had a good upbringing. I had a great upbringing. A perfect upbringing. Prior to the English Defence League, I had my own business, two businesses, one turnover three hundred thousand. Well, I don't care what your history. So, okay. so <laughs> it, this is not to do with people being on poverty lines. This is to do with serious issues within our community with militant Islam extremists. It's the upbringing. As soon as you talk in. about it, everyone says you're racist. I'd like okay, to speak to this lady here, please. You bring your agenda actually today. Well, my question is what we say, like, can we say what, what the problem about what people, when they see women wearing scarf, is that something when they behave with her racism, is that something coming about economy issue? I don't think so. Well, I have no problem when, with the Sorry, either. you have your agenda, you finish it. I don't know if you finish it or yeah. But some, I'm, me, I'm me from Hunter Spring, I've been here two years. Nobody sits with me in the bus or near me because I'm wearing scarf. So can you explain for me how you guys what, what answering for that? Well, well, you can well, answer for that. Well, I, I, he, the guy, I he's, he said, keep I keeping talking said, that they have no I, racism. I, I, but well, that's not Islamic for him. You, you have so much racist. phobia, Islamic phobia, you can't actually. You keep saying racist without giving me an explanation. Listen, listen, please give me an explanation. Can I just, can I just say something? At, at, your, at your rally yeah. in, in, in Newcastle, you stood next to the organiser while he was chanting, Complete lie. send those... No, complete and lie I can't again. Say it home. Complete lie again. No, no, it's not on YouTube. No, okay. it's not. It's an edited version. Look. You don't see the person on the stage saying it. It's a lie. It's so a lie. who's saying it? No one said it. You've read it. Every time someone has their arm and up in the air, that you say it's a Nazi salute. The, Please, can someone tell me what we say? That no is one racist. is saying that, by the way. No, no, can someone tell me what so we say? So what you're doing is you're generalising. We're highlighting truths. You're generalising. The truth is not a lie. Okay. No, I'm not people. generalising. No, I'm not. Just on the basis that's what's racist. I mentioned certain sex. This is, exactly, yeah, okay. this is exactly what I said at the beginning of the programme. When we deal with racism, rather than dealing with the structural reality and all this nonsense about people are racist because they're frustrated about their life, it's totally classist. Yeah. What we're saying, only working class people are racist. Do me a favour. Racism was not invented by working class people. It was invented by elite academics 
science, through pseudoscientific nonsense and perpetuated as part of political policy from the top down, not the bottom up. In fact, if we look back at the history of this country, when there were slave catchers in the streets, people had far more allies in working class parts of London than they did from rich people who were trying to catch them and send them back to the Caribbean. So let's be honest about the history and deal with the bigger problems of structural racism because then smaller things and smaller frustrations that are breeding this type of nonsense won't, won't be excavated so much. But this is the problem is we, we focus on nonsense like this no, rather than dealing with why a British soldier you've probably never heard of, a gentleman called Christopher Alder, died in 1999 in police custody. There is footage on YouTube that you can see for yourself of him on the floor with his bottom half exposed with police officers around him making monkey noises over his dead body. You've never heard his name. Why?